I think the biggest problem along the coast and where it grows is we set. It, uh, like we've been talking about, it's a, a crown sprouter and that we know that if we cut it off, it's gonna sprout and, and there may be four or five stems where before there was one. Uh, it does not have the canopy that mesquite has. It's a lot more diffuse. The leaves are a lot smaller. And so all of these things provide uh, uh, issues of getting the herbicide in, getting the herbicide down to that bud zone, and uh, get, uh, where we can kill that plant. So timing, uh, as with the rest of them, is very important. Canopy cover, leaf uh, vigor, growth, um, physiology. We don't know as much about the physiology of Wiesach as we do, say, mesquite. So, with that said, we do have ways of, of working with it. Uh, how many of you have used grubbing hoe? Nobody? I, I, I imagine some of you have. I'm not asking you, did you like to do it or not? <laughs> but the grubbing hoe is a very effective way of working with Wiesach. You get it down there, you get that bud zone, and it's out of there. So the next step then, obviously, is if we don't want to do that, we've got to either get the herbicide in through the leaf or the soil. We don't have a brush buster soil applied uh, method because as uh, it's been mentioned before, the soil applied herbicides are not very effective on high clay soils. They tend to adhere to the clay particles. So, and this, that's essentially where we set grows on heavy clays. So uh, we're pretty much limited to basal treatments and a foliar treatment. Now, it's been done several times today, so I'm gonna reverse it. We're gonna start with the uh, basal treatment and ask a couple of questions. Number one, when can you basically treat Wiesach? Let's have a hand. Come on. Y'all heard it five times, 10 times this morning. When? Year round. Better in the growing season, better when it's dry. But you can do it year round. Okay, what concentration of remedy, or let, let, let's try say this, triclopyr in diesel oil do you use? What do we use for we, mesquite? 8, 15 to 25. If it is a really corky bark, real thick, heavy bark, then you need about 25%. But most of the time, we satch is going to be just like this. So I think most, the majority of the time, you can get by with 15%. How do you treat it? You use that backpack sprayer, or you use the, the, the sprayer mounted on ATV. What nozzle do you use? Number one. X1s, right? And then when you apply it to the stem or stems, how do you apply it? All the way around each one. Now this one is essentially a, a one, one stemmer, even though it looks like, because when I cut it off, it was much longer. I didn't want to bend down too, too low. But uh, how far up the stem do you treat? up to 12 inches, okay? So y'all have that down pretty well. Year round, better in the, uh, the warmer, uh, drier times of the year. All the way around, 15% in, uh, in, and I say triclopyr. We've been talking about uh, Remedy Ultra all morning. There are some generics out there. There are some generic triclopyrs. 
made by various companies. So uh, we need to point out that if you have some of those or you find them, uh, I don't know what the economics are, but it, you know, the, the triclopyr will work in the diesel oil. We know it well. So we normally say uh, uh, remedy, remedy ultra. Okay, any, any questions on the basal treatment? No? Okay.